Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggle of the YouTube channel. I need your help today. I'm missing something. And I'm not sure what's going on here. So I decided to scan the eBay completed listings today. And it was meant to be more of a spoof than anything else. And I decided to search for men's socks. And I only wanted to look at sold listings. And... I was looking at used socks because no, none of you guys are selling new items. You're selling used thrift store items. And I thought, well, the only thing more ridiculous than socks would be to look up used underwear. And um, I think there might be an eBay policy against used underwear because I know women try and sell their used underwear and some nasty-ass guys actually buy it. But socks was my next go-to, right? So I start looking up these socks, and I'm thinking, I'm going to make a video on completed listings and the best-selling used socks. And as I'm looking at it, I'm trying to figure out, why do these actually sell, and is it a joke, or what am I missing? So here we have a bunch of lots, and there's shoes and stuff in here, right? But there's also six pairs of sort of used socks from Alaska, okay, in a dirty old bag, $120 plus shipping, but there's, there's some better ones here. Look at this. Got some dirty ass socks laying on the floor. Men's used white ankle socks. $25. Best offer accepted, so whatever, but plus shipping. Totally weird and random. Why would someone buy that? And then there's more coming down here. Just gotta get all out of these lots. Look, more dirty socks. $70 plus shipping. Just a goofy ass pair of socks and some guy making some weird pose. $70 plus shipping. Okay, look at same picture, bunch of nasty socks, $52, $52, $52, $52. So what's going on here, guys? Why are people buying socks for $52 plus shipping? And what are they actually getting? My first thing is they're loading these socks up with drugs. They're stuffing them full of cocaine, and they are using the postal system, and they are using eBay to transfer their dirty socks full of their dirty, dirty drugs. Okay, that's my suggestion. Totally weird that they have all these different socks here. Look at it. I don't want to see this guy's hairy legs. That's disgusting with his ugly-ass socks on. But $45. I'm thinking, I have a drawer full of socks, and I have some ugly-ass hairy legs I can take pictures of. So I'm wondering if I can get, like, 50 bucks a pop. I mean, I'd settle for $20 each. Look at More nastiness. $43 more. And look at this Jamoke. He's selling you socks and he takes a picture of his face. I don't want to see your face either, idiot. $38. So, let's look at some of these. Like this one. $100 plus shipping. They have a 10 feedback score. You guys can read this. I'll be quiet. So, I don't know, is it like a weird fetish thing? Is this probably, hey, eBay sale. Is this um, females or gay males or does it, when it comes to socks and a fetish, does the male or female matter? Because feet would probably be, at least the stench of feet would probably be the same. I mean, could you tell the difference? I don't know. Here's another one. Now, these were $70. And they have no description. Sock. That's it. It's a sock. Okay. It doesn't even say socks. Well, that, here it says socks. So somebody help me. Is this just a weird way of transferring money for some reason? Oh, this sounds so disgusting. Nice and damp for you. <laughs> I have a very quality stink. As my repeat customers well know. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. Did anyone else know this was going on? Oh, man. Hello again. I have really nice socks for you guys. This socks is sexy and very soft and comfortable. You should click buy it now before I sold. 
Oh, God, and the guy can't even speak English either, so... Anyways, I would like to hear your theories on what's going on with the stinky you socks and, um, yeah, what your thoughts are and are you considering now selling your dirty socks? Thanks for watching, guys.